Hello everybody, Team Jet here, and welcome back to our Kislev playthrough, our Kislev co-op playthrough, where we are playing as uh, the witch and the, I mean, the mother and daughter. Uh, one day that joke will get old, guys. And <laughs> we're currently on Tom's screen, where you are, you are playing, uh, you've got your, got the mother, and she is invading down into some, empty, some completely empty territory with nothing yes. in it, right? Ruins, yes, 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 just ruins, 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 ruins. If we switch back to my screen quickly, um, we are. I'm. I'm rebuilding because uh, we we did lose uh, lose the daughter fighting against uh, the dwarves who were then pieced out while they had no territory left. I actually think they're now dead, dead, dead. Oh. And it's it's letting me actually merge nice armies, guys. Hey. Uh, I'm going to keep days. a couple of units out, guys, because actually. I'm going to want to put some cavalry into the army as well. We've got six units of Streltsy in here. Ooh. I'm actually going to tweak that slightly more. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, Your I'm, army is so much better prepared than I'm, mine. I'm switching out some Acolytes of Ursan so I can have them spread across multiple armies, if you see what I mean. Because um, I'd prefer to have a bit more of a solid front line. I was going to say, I didn't realize how much extra range the uh, Bardach's Stretzy have. Because they have 160 over 140. It's 20, but it's still nice. Um, yeah, that makes a huge difference. I'm not going to have four cats in this army. Sorry, three cats. It's only going to have two. Because I want to have another unit of um, melee. But the other army is going to get some cats. I mean, I stand by. I'm still amazed at the income you're getting. Uh, it's, it's all Kislev. It's literally all Kislev. Yeah. Um. Yep. Yeah, I'm. There's uh, nothing else happening on my side. I'm no, just I'm waiting just, to. Uh, uh, I'm. I'm. I'm working out what buildings I'm building there. I want to start getting that because I want to get a hag witch into my armies as well. They speak to me. I mean, but also they are pretty fantastic. Out the, grove. the thing with Kislev is your hero units do end up with bear mounts, which, for even a caster, makes them really solid. It's still the extra vulnerability, though, they have on a bear. Mm. Now, I would say, oh, we could open up the argument as to which faction has the best mounts for heroes, but we all know the answer. Dwarves. Nope. <laughs> I mean, yes. Because <laughs> they don't. In all practicality, the best mounts by far have to be the Lizardmen still. Yeah, because you can literally just play a hero army by the time they yeah. get to that point. Yeah. And I think probably the most disgusting thing about it is uh, like you get so many things in game which Ostermarks in, in a vanilla alliance. uh as well, which allow you to increase the initial recruit rank of your heroes. Mm. So, <laughs> it's just like, yeah, it, yeah. So I'm trying to work out if the barking was in game or my dog in the house being really loud. <laughs> he's, he's been very barky recently. It's Christmas. There's been a lot going on. A lot of people Over visiting. Fussing. Yeah, a lot of people visiting. We've been going places, doing lots of things. So, you know. Ooh. Pray to the land, or pray to the skies. Pray to the land, because we are doing a bit of recruiting. Then I'm going to hold off a little bit more. Oh, I had a patriarch recruit himself for some unknown reason. Hmm. I will use you, maybe. Um, by the way, I can't decide whether to go to besiege the Karak Angle, or there's a Skaven army which I can easily take in the underway stance within range. Kill them all. Ooh. So the problem with the underway stance is I'm do, pretty sure they can retreat. Do, do you have some... Can, can, I, can I call in my loan? Uh, I already paid you back, remember? Can, can I call in another loan so I can up, up, I'll have no. kids left? Literally, I was saved all my finances last turn so I can upgrade a settlement. Ooh, I need to level up kids left. Oh, I can cancel that one without giving me enough... I wish it told you how much you got back by cancelling it. Um, yep, 
Yeah, so really, my question is, do you think I should go for the Skaven, or...? I am levelling up kids. I cancelled levelling up another settlement. Um, oh. Because uh, I think they can kill, retreat. Kill that. They can retreat in underway stance. Um, settlement. If you're in a settlement, they can't. The issue is they can get behind you. However, I will be besieging that yeah, settlement. Yeah, and it it's is walled one. Yeah, you need to be able to take the settlement. Can they get there in a turn? Because if they can get there, they can see. Underway, you. yes. Not attack. Okay. Uh, not... Then, then, so long as you reckon you can take that settlement relatively quickly, you might be able to take that settlement in a turn. To be fair, if yeah. it's not guarded. All right, let's go for the settlement. I can take it in a turn, losing one unit. That won't make any difference to the auto. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's just auto it now. Play it safe. Yep, I'm I'm just plop. I'm 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 getting ready for uh, war with the um, with the orcs on my side. Ooh. The thing I'm really like at the moment is is with co-op is cavalry is so much better. Basically, fast movers are just much better in co-op. Anything oh. micro intensive. We we really need to do another Slaneshi playthrough in co-op at some point. Because <laughs> everything's fast, you know. But it's the oh, actually no, that's so true. Yeah. But it's the demon. I guess we could do the demon and one of the demon and um, one of the warriors of chaos. But warriors of chaos get warriors of chaos. They can only have so yeah. many. War yeah, which war and... actually makes them less. It's good, but yes. the thing I hate about warriors of chaos is God, you're slow. I'm playing a Valkyrie play for it at the moment. Uh, they're just so damn slow. Uh, what about playing, though, as, um, you know, the super shiny boy? Which super shiny boy? You know, the guy who has all the units of the mirrors. Oh, God, no. We've done him before. I know, but... We've done Nakari before. He's, he's uh... To be fair... We could do Nakari and Scarbrand again. Because Scarbrand is not so annoying in large Immortal Empire maps. The issue with Scarbrand is in the in the Realms of Chaos. It's, his turns just take so long because you're like, Oh, I've taken a settlement. Oh, I've taken a settlement. Oh, I've taken a settlement. By the way, it's uh, end of turn. Lies. Lies. I had a, It was all your fault that we hadn't mm -hmm. ended turn. <laughs> It's because I gained another ally. The other thing we need to do is at some point we need to organise a time when we can do a few hours of um, of uh, streaming again, but it's tricky. Oh, the Bone Rattlers have declared war on me. I am not calling you in. I don't even know where they are. Uh, they're north of uh, the Great Orthodoxy. Well, they must have been wiped out in my playthrough. Uh, do you mind if I call you to war? Because that will bring the other faction right yeah. next to them into war. Yeah, go for it. I don't even know where they are, so... They are strength rank one, though. <laughs> That's uh, somewhat worrying. Azag is kind of scary. Don't forget, you've got the Legion of Gore Queen near you as well, who could be scared, C could be quite worrying soon. Oh yes. Between us, though, we are quite chunk. And once I've once I've nailed the the orcs below me, it's just horrifying because I can't afford more than one army at a time. I'm 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 probably going to be able to confederate the guys next to me soon as well. Oh yeah, I knew this was going to happen. Shit, sorry, Remember man. Remember those woodlands? No, no, no. Uh, it's, I've uh, I've literally not had a chance. I will actually move north with my army to reclaim that. Um. I'm assuming it's a loss. I'm just trying to work out if my no, not penalties cats. can... Uh... Not a cat. And unfortunately, it's no settlement defences. Yeah. Although... I will I will move forwards and deal with them short, shortly. Yeah. Uh, do you reckon I should bother using up my cursors or not bother at all? Don't bother. All right. I don't think they make any difference to the auto. Goodbye, uh, bear's teeth. That's annoying, because they went through hostile territory to get to you. Oh, they just destroyed it. Yeah. I remember it's because corn colonizers by raising. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> I 
I'll probably grab it for myself for the time being and we'll, we'll swap it back later on. Interestingly, by the way, uh, that Skaven army, they have just moved in the underway to where I said before, and I do need to take them out because they yeah. got a reinforcing army soon. Underway, yes, yes. I hate fighting Skaven. I've wiped, mm. I've wiped that, that faction out. No, I've actually vassalized that faction in my Valkyrie playthrough. I can't figure out the best way to make income as Kislev at the moment. Do you reckon farms and then building the hallowed woods to boost the percentage income from farms? I don't know. I've not, had any, I've not even thought about it. I've just been going for ones which have the biggest numbers. <laughs> <laughs> God damn to be it. fair, your income is currently better than mine. Yeah, that's because I only have one army. Yeah, I basically only have one army. Right, hang on. I'm doing a bit of diplomacy. Yes, confederation time! No! The ones <laughs> I was allied with. <laughs> My economy is now fucked. <laughs> Right. You reek of anguish or hopeless. I believe. I'm gonna see oh, if anyone. Oh, you see. know, you know how you said Azag was in the north. Yeah. You lied. Uh, no, I didn't. He isn't. Was in the north on the map, according to this. He's here. He's below me. Uh, he's also in the north. Boy, uh... Where? Show me. Uh, how can I doodle or ping on the map? I'm looking at your screen. That's yeah. that's right not the north. That that's, is the north. That's, that's that's the west. No, that's the north. It's covered in snow and ice, isn't it? Is it bad that I'm about to sell some territory to back to the vampires to make them more powerful, so I can more likely to be able to confederate other people? Oh, not in the slightest. <laughs> I'm getting a defensive alliance with him too. <laughs> I mean, I would say if you can, do it. Uh, the question is, what do I do? I'm going to strip this army straight out. Um... Let's make some more coat. Gonna start heading that way. You are gonna head down to there. I, uh, I am still running a negative. This is not ideal. Uh, how many armies have you got now? Three. Four. Three at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, Remember I'm, all yeah, I'm trying to merge them together. Yeah, I'm getting some to merge together. Uh... And you've got raiding in your territory. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to need to start a war with those orcs. The issue is I've got the other orcs to worry about as well. Um, by the way, on my side, I'm going to see if I can take auto success against the Oh, Sorry, army. we're still on your screen. Sorry, I'm just going to show people what I've done. So yeah, I've, I've confederated all of this. We've got the orcs down here and I sold this territory back. Sorry, guys, my bad. Yeah, right. on your screen. Go on. Let's go against Ratmech Kankard. And they retreat as expected. It's a fairly Gaven Slavey army. Yeah. Oh, we might have to fight this. <laughs> Fighting Skaven. It's just the number of units I actually no, lose. No, I know. Um... However, I will completely neuter there. Yeah. Um, no, no, if, if you want to fight it, we'll fight it. That's fine. Yeah, so I'm just reminding myself of passive, which gives minus 25 accuracy to the rattling guns. What's their accuracy? Uh, where does it say accuracy? Oh, it doesn't. Yeah. But it's still going to be very good. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I would put it on one of those, because it means they're going to be hitting 25% less. I've got two, so I'm putting it on both. 
Oh, that's evil. Minus 15% physical resistance. Yeah, I'm trying to decide which one to put that on. Uh, for Packmaster. Uh, for Packmaster. The Chieftain, for the Chieftain you mean? yeah. Because the rest of their armies point... The uh, rest of except their... it doesn't have any physical... Oh. Doesn't matter. Uh, it gives it negative resistance. You can have negative oh, resistance. It? Yes. All right, then. Packmaster it is. So let's just uh, quick save. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're definitely fighting this. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to start a fight with those orcs rather than the going north. I'm sorry. No, no, that's that's perfect. I've already lost that settlement, so it doesn't matter to me anymore. Because the orcs are already starting to raid me, and it's just it's just a dang, it's just a, a really risky position. Now, with this fight, we completely outquality them. Of course. Um. They will probably attack as well. Um, the issue is there. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's an icy lake <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> Oh, it is such a shame. You can't just break that ice. Um, right. So, would you like all three units of ambushers? Because I also have a regiment of renowned ones as well. Yeah. Actually, why don't we just do this as we normally do? There you go. So I'm putting the ambushers up on the right flank. I'm putting the spiders in the trees. I'm making and my range to double line. And I'm going to basically, I'll push forwards to try and get them to charge me. So you can um, hit them. Well, I was actually going to say, instead of that... Um, oh, on, I'm going to charge in with the hag witches because they have, I've buffed them, oh, yeah. so they're really good do at charging. That, do that as well, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to push up and set up a line here, basically, with my force. So we'll start hitting them with range, and they'll be forced to attack, and then we can hit them from both sides. But you can do what you want with hag witch as well. Let's do it. Yep. Uh, yep. Let's uh, go. Hey, they're already moving forwards. I oh, know they're, they're thinking about it. Amongst you tremble, yet an old woman stands here, fearless before the foe. Now ask They know you're in the forest. They know you're in the forest. You oh, the, enemy more the spiders will wipe them. Or deal me. massive amounts of damage to them in the forest. <laughs> the spell managed to miss me. Uh, because they've got a penalty on spells. It's still unusual for them to actually manage to miss you. Excellent. If only you could break the ice. Uh, why are you still moving forward? Because I'm not. Oh, I thought you were. I'm sick. Oh, that volley! I'm just uh, tweaking my formation slightly so we're less likely to all get engaged at once. Yep. I'm bringing the ambushes into the side as well. One thing I'm gonna do. Oh, they're flanking me. Yep, I am. I mean, on it, that. It, it's, it's 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 clan rats. I'm not that worried. Still, uh. Counter charge! <laughs> Moving. 
Actually, I'll bring the thing in the woods. Yeah, I'm getting to, fairly uh, heavily engaged. Yep, no, that's... Uh... <laughs> They've charged their rattling guns into me. That's different. Well, sometimes... They're breaking, they're beginning to break. Come on, it's Gaven. <laughs> Oh, by the way, got a summons thing in the woods now, which I'm going to pass on to you. Cool. Oh, perfect place to get them right into the last of their last mass. It's over. They broke them. Kill uh, the chieftain. Is that chieftain unbreakable or something? Uh, nope. Just, uh... I'm actually targeting their caster. Nice. There we go. I would say, oh, let's, uh... Finish at least let let the uh, rat mag die. Oh, never mind. Yeah, he did die. No, Just. he didn't. Oh, did he not? Oh well. I mean, he might be dead. 361 but... kills with mother. <laughs> 91 losses. That's really solid. And considering how long it held the uh, ambushes back for to make sure they were fully engaged, yeah. they got a lot mm -hmm. of kills. No kills with the rattling guns. <laughs> Yeah, they, I, I noticed they only really shot off one volley because they blocked themselves too much. Yeah. <coughs> but still, I'm actually surprised by 106 kills from the spiders in the wood, which are just left there. They're not bad because they'll have no. all the physical resistance they get as well. Yeah. Ah, happy days. I am going to have to call you into my next war because I'm going to need allies in it. Oh, yeah, no, okay, yeah. It shouldn't be directly. In fact, I'll, I'll have a look, because I might No, it, it I might will not. be uh, ordered with mine. Um. Uh, to be fair, I don't need the allies in it. I don't want them in it, because I don't want them taking the territory. Understandably. Right. I, I am thinking, probably going to summon a sacrificial lord, by the way, to go and uh, reclaim the woods. Good news, by the way, that army was wiped out because they retreated the first time around. Nice. Right, it is time. I may regret this. Oh, the military ally was somebody else anyway. No. Oh. How the hell is this a Pyrrhic victory? Uh, we have to fight this. Flows in our <laughs> uh, yeah, it's because all big, boy, big guns and trolls. Uh, all yeah, no, they've. Uh... Yeah, they've been buffed substantially. I mean, if you look at their hit pool. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. Yeah. That's depressing. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I don't like that. I'm going to be honest, I'm not a fan of that. Well, I may not have started this war if I'd realised that. No, orcs are really, really chonky, but they've taken a lot of hits to other things as well. Now, you see, orcs should be very glass cannon, because that's how they're meant to be, law-wise, I believe. You know, because they're meant to attack, run away, attack. Oh, this is a horrible map as well. Actually, I say that, this is actually a really nice map for me. Interestingly, by the way, they've completely nerfed the uh, charge bonus that the orcs get. Basically, my plan, Tom, is to split my force down below into two wings. Um, and so that the orcs are try 
So the orcs, because the orcs will charge, they're orcs. Oh yeah. Uh, do you want to pass me kitty cats? Uh, I thought I already had. I, I should have put the Tsarina back in. I didn't realise I hadn't. Um, do you want me, which side do you want me to go for? Whichever you want. Your main job is going to be harassing their ranged when they charge. Oh, that's easy. I thought you might want me to take out the cavalry on one side. Um, oh, if you can, do it. Right, I'm good. Yep, let's go for it. Let's move. I promise you to fail me for worse consequences. Hang on. Hang on, they're orcs and they're not charging me. Yep. That's just wrong. You do, your units do have a better charge bonus than most of theirs. Yeah, but I'm also uphill. Right. What range do the kitty cats? I'm going to see if I can get the kitty cats on the, in the woods right behind them. I mean, if you can bait them a bit, that might help. Oh, the cavalry is beginning to move. To be fair, worst case, I'm just going to uh, move down this valley to... Oh, here they come! Yep. I'm just tweaking my formation slightly. Let me know when you want me to charge into the... As soon as you want. Anything you can do to slow them down. All right, I'm charging into the Orc Arrow Boys. Ooh. All right, Orc Arrow Boys engaged. And I've drawn away their several other units. That's good. That's really good, actually, because then I'm not being hit by as much at once. All right, disengage. I'm coming around to the rear of the flank on the other side. Just yeah, to I'm wipe out to, Yeah, breaker. I'm trying to focus fire units a bit as well. Oop, yep. Bit of a lag there. Here we go. I should break now. There we go. Broken. Good. So I'm, if you want to focus on the main football, Carl. Uh, yeah, no, I'm getting my um, other units over, over to uh, support my other flank. Get those out of our boys. Yep, I'm back on it. Get the Ataman in there. Alright, back into the Arrow boys. Getting my Streltsy focus firing units again. Most of their big ones are also down, are, are broken already. Oh, straight to take out those ball boys, please. I didn't think we'd lose as many units as it suggested. <laughs> we pulled, we, we made them run into the valley and die. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Lot that better. was much better than it suggested. So yeah, the biggins took damage quite easily there, thankfully. Yeah, those orc ball boys did nothing. No, I, I basically I closed them down. The way I stayed, their best bet would have been to sit above and pepper me. 
Uh, but then again, they didn't have enough Arrow Boys to really be worth it. I'd no. have just soaked it and sat. And if I'd had to, I'd have just maneuvered around. Um, yeah. No, I didn't have much choice there. I'm trying. If I was in their shoes, the best thing to do probably would have been to bulk up more. Not fight me in that. Not fight me where I wanted to fight. Was what they should have tried to do. Thing is, mm. eh, they could have spread out more. Basically, they could have tried to get around me from more directions. Yeah. Still, Streltsy are as fantastic as ever. I'm surprised they're only a tier two unit. They are, and they, Out of five. they are, and they aren't. So, so I think the modders pick for tier. So, um, uh, but, no. Oh, is it not? But they are, yeah. the, they are, and they are. No, I think they do because some mods have units without tiers in them. Another province for me. Oh no, I mean oh, normal yeah. Streltsy. Right oh yeah, a tier two. As is only right. The Zarina is back. Sarina Catherine of Kisner. Ooh, I can get things in the woods now. But they're global recruitment units at the moment. Hag witch. Right. Move my units. And let's uh, upgrade the farm. Ooh. Oh, you're, you're just doing bog standard stuff, right? Yep. No, I just wanted to upgrade the farms a little bit. And yeah. I'm going to see if anyone wants to give me money for any reason. Uh, Ooh, the... Oh, I thought it was crashing. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm making friends with, friend uh, with Boris. Same here. Just trading with him. Oh, I can confederate him. <laughs> I don't think there's any point in me confederating. There is a point in me confederating him to recruit him, but that's it. Yeah, but it's a really awkward. No, I'm basically going to abandon his territory. There is that, but you can't disband his army. <laughs> Go on. Now, who up here do I want to sell this territory to? Each. No, oh, actually, uh, you have arrived. quite a nice region there. Well, yeah, that's what I'm trying to work out, is how best to tweak this. And the worst thing is, he actually does have a quite a nice army. Arrival. With War Bear War Riders. Haven't eaten in days. Hey, there's a magical forest up here. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're funny. Yeah, the issue is, I oh, cannot yeah. afford to keep his army. I can't afford to I keep know. them, actually. They're too expensive. Body but yeah, I want the bears. Oh, and you've randomly got Fort Sturtshod. Yeah. Ah, I have a plan. Cunning and... I'm selling so Fort Sturgeon to Azag to get peace. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Oh, I was going to say keep Fort Sturgeon. Nope, I want peace with Azag. My plan, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and get the boss man back. Uh, and... He's starting a long journey back, and I'm gonna be honest, I kind of gonna abandon this territory up here. Because it's just not safe. It's just not good for me. I mean, if you haven't got anyone you want to sell it to, you can just abandon each region for income. No, that's what I was thinking. Rather than giving it to people, just abandon it. It's not ideal. It's not the best. It's not the most sensible. It's definitely not the most honorable move. But it's not. It, it's gonna be a pain in the ass holding onto it up here, basically. Do it. Do it. I was hoping there'd be uh, dwarves up here. I could the dwarves would be around somewhere, and I'd be able to sell to them. <laughs> that'd be, uh, that'd be definitely um, be funny. Um, I'm also but, stripping quite a lot out of Boris's army because basically I'm keeping. I'm trying to keep the top units. Okay, that is me. But I'm also going to say 
I think this is where we will end this one, guys. So, after my uh, weirdness up there. Oh, actually, I'm probably better trying to sail Boris back, aren't I? Head down to the river and sail back. If you can get there. Yeah, no, I'm going to go for that. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching, guys. Please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying this obviously, and comments down below. And as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members and patrons. That's Monsters of Hound, Philip F, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Prataru, Brandon, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason F, Egg, Scrin, Nubuon Kenobi, Jared Horn, and Good Sir Twisted. And thank you all for watching. Cheers all.